Good morning, Year 7s. So I just thought I would um, update you on where you should be at with your entrepreneur assignment. So hopefully you're working towards, uh, if you're working with your partner, you are working towards drafting out your finished um, pitch uh, according to the task sheet. So I thought I'd just be worthwhile just going through the task sheet again, just in looking at the marking key so you know um, some, some more tips about what needs to be in your work. So first of all, just remember that it's only a three to four minute presentation. If you are doing a presentation like that, um, just bear that in mind. Um, and I don't know how we'll go with the panel of investors, our class, but we'll see. I might try and work on that. Um, just skipping to the marking key. So um, just remember that if you have done some research, the first part just up here, um, if you've done any research using websites for your competition analysis, don't forget to put those in a correctly formatted bibliography. Um, and okay, so that's the first part, it uses relevant um, information from data from a number of sources. So you should have at least four different um, um, competition websites that you have looked at. So next part you've, and I'm only gonna look at the top band here, you guys. So you've used appropriate recording techniques to collect the information. So that's going to be in your finished product. Remember, I've asked you to include maybe some graphs um, or, or a summary of the, um, the findings from your research. So we've done that. Okay, next part. So hopefully you have looked at all the data you've got and you've drawn some conclusions from that data. Okay, so and that means that, uh, that you have maybe done a summary, a dot point summary of your key findings. Um, maybe you have also sought some feedback um, from other people. So that's where it talks about alternative perspectives. Um, maybe you've got some different age ranges or different year groups um, represented in your survey and they've shown some different data. Maybe alternative perspective is the competition analysis and you've drawn some um, conclusions related to how your competition is going to be different. Okay, most importantly, the next one. Um, remember we've said all the way along that your um, finished product needs to some way represent what the consumers are actually wanting. So if you've concluded that the most popular chocolate um, flavoring is caramel, then clearly you need to have a caramel chocolate. The logo and all the rest of it is fine, but if there's not a link between, you know, there has to be a link between what you found out and what your product is actually going to be like. Okay, if you cannot make that link between the two, then, um, you know, you won't be getting to the top band of marks in this one. Okay, so again, if an example, pricing, if you're pricing, if people have said that the most appropriate price for, two, for your chocolate bar is $2, then you've got to price it at $2. Um, it, that, you know, that's the links that we're talking about here. That's how you are responding to consumer decisions. Now, unfortunately, with these last ones, it's probably more going to be um, about the time, I suppose. And look, I might talk to the other teachers. We might even get rid of that one on um, communicating your findings because you probably won't be actually pitching it to anyone in class. Um, I'll talk to the other teachers and I'll get back, your, back, back to you, sorry, on that one. And lastly, as I mentioned before, you've got your bibliography sorted. Um, so remember, just go back to the other video that I sent the other day. You can do a PowerPoint now if you want to. If you're finding it difficult to work together with your partner, you can, rather than pre-recording it like I am now, you can just include um, some sections in the notes underneath. Um, and ideally, if you are ready and you've got a bit of a draft or you want me to have a look at anything, just uh, send it through, upload it to your OneNote page or um, just email it to me and I can give you some feedback. Remember this, um, you probably want to do that before Wednesday because this is now due on Friday. Okay, don't forget the due date is April 3rd. And again, um, I'll talk to you more about that as the week progresses. Okay, thanks.